when COVID first started spreading, personally I didn't realize how bad it was. And then when schools started closing down and shops were closed and Chicago went in to stay at home, I thought in general sailing was not gonna happen this summer. Yeah, the initial realization, you know, was you know, the first event was canceled, it was Malgus 24 Worlds, and that was a big one. We figured next would be Charleston Race Week, um, and then we kind of waited around a little bit. J70 Worlds got canceled. The wait kind of landed on us. You know, entire summer not doing what we normally do is difficult. So at first I was really apprehensive and I was like, oh, we're not going to sail. And then I saw it as like a huge opportunity for the Vanguard 15 class. Our first thought was how do we put on small events? And so we're making an easy way for them to sail, but in a safe way. Lake Max Vanguard 15 series is a three weekend regatta. Its main purpose is to get everyone out sailing while still socially distancing. In order to make this regatta happen, there was a lot of things that we had to put in place. One of those things was thinking about RC and downsizing that. Um, normally you have a lot of people on a boat. Every person has their own individual job. And we were able to team up with Mark Setbot, um, eliminating a couple of those bodies. So the Mark Setbot uh, at its base level is effectively an autonomous boat with a Mark topside section. Um, so it resembles what would be a buoy or a mark on the water. These are GPS marks that keeps the race committee down. Last week we basically had two people per boat and with the way the boats are you can be more than six feet apart. So that made it you know, easy with the marks that bought. A lot of yacht club uh, and regatta organizations have realized recently um, that they have to start rethinking kind of the standard way that they're doing things. I see Mark Setbot as essential to a safe future of sailboat racing. We're doing staggered launches, so when the boats go in the water, not everyone's going in at once. Um, we have what we call buffs or UV gaiters that you know can cover your face if you need to, if you have to be too close to someone. The crews are two people per boat, and so you know it's up to the crew to pick somebody that is, you know, someone they either are, are close to or you know in the same household. And that's also the reason for these one-day regattas. That basically means people come in, they sail, and they leave. So one big thing that we did is we moved our skippers meeting to a virtual skippers meeting. It's going to be pre-recorded the night before the event and sent out to all the skippers. We will be giving weather briefings, we will be giving updates on social distancing expectations, and um, Sean's going to be talking about GPX files that are going to be recorded to use later in a debrief. This is just one more thing we're doing to ensure safety to our sailors. And this is the big one. Make sure you are staying six feet apart. It is really, really easy for us to get back into our old um, habits. All these new instruments are recording you know, loads of data. So not just GPS, but um, we're looking at heel angles. So how much the boat is tilted at a given time. You know, we have heading and we can track through like a maneuver. So we can see, you know, going into attack, you went in at this speed, you came out of it, it took you this long to get back up to speed versus somebody who did, you know, poor tack. And then being able to sync that to video, you can actually, with the data, look at who had a good maneuver and then watch in the video why they had a good maneuver. And that's kind of a good way for people to, to figure out quickly what works and what doesn't work. Doing it with the Vanguard 15s, um, especially because the boat itself is an older design. Um, it's still a blast to sail, but we have to start thinking of ways to make the racing more innovative because there's really not much we can do with the boat. So doing things like this um, and using Mark Setbot and you know employing the latest technologies takes you know an older design but it makes the racing still feel pretty cutting edge and exciting. The best part about the Vanguard it's it's the simplest boat in the world. You got a main sheet, you got jib sheets, you got halyards and that's pretty much it. Um, everyone's got exactly the same gear, they're really all the same speed. So it just comes down to who can sail it a little bit better. A lot of people sail for a lot of different reasons. I sail because when I sail, I leave all my land problems on land and I'm able to relax, refocus myself and just have that time to myself to enjoy. Um, I feel like a lot of sailors feel the same way. When you're locked up at a stay at home order, there's people who can do yoga and paint and sing and still get those out. But with sailing, we can't do that. So a lot of people have been itching to sail, especially with the weather getting warmer. Um, and it's really nice being able to give this opportunity to sailors to get back on the water and start sailing again. 
Oh, I don't think I've had this big of a grin in my face in, in about six months. It's, it's really fun to be back out of the water again and seeing everyone. You know, our goal at Sail 22 is make it easy for people to sail, people to get on the water. And so that's what we're doing. You know, Megan and Sean were driving force behind this, but we backed it up because we thought it made sense because it got people on the water and people are sailing, but then we also are making sure people are safe.